Moho Black is an exciting new market launching at the Waterfall Park next to Mall of Africa. The word Moho in Sesotho means together. A chic weekend market experience. It promises to showcase great local fashion and design delicious food and designer cocktails plus live music of course. The first edition is happening on the weekend of the 30th of April to uh, the 1st of May and to share more on the experience we're joined by Stasia uh, Conradi who is the Moho Block Market Director and Executive Producer. Good morning, welcome to Morning Live. Morning, thank you. Talk to us about uh, the food market. What are we talking about Moho? What is it about? Okay, so Moho was really an inspiration um, what we've been through the last two years. Mm -hmm. We've been deprived of social gatherings so we felt it's fitting, um, moho meaning together. Mm -hmm. So we're getting people back together, getting families out and supporting our local makers, entrepreneurs, and just having a fabulous time out. Talk to us about the space that you are hosting this in. What kind of space are we talking about here? So it's beautiful outdoors. Um, it's at Mall of Africa, the Waterfall Park. It's, it's uh, uh, right next to where all the restaurants are. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's grass, manicured lawns, and it's a beautiful space for the entire family to just you know come and chill, have a beautiful cocktail, and enjoy um, yeah being outside. I want to talk about the live music. is always a good idea. Live music is always a good idea. Who's going to be performing? How? It talks to us about the process of curating that. Okay, so yeah, um, we've got an amazing lineup. Um, the Soil, I mean, they are very popular and yeah. I know that they haven't been performing in Joburg for quite a while. They've been overseas and COVID. Um, so we are very excited to have them on stage. We've got Femi Koya, we've got uh, Lungelo Moyo and Ice and Fire Band. So um, yeah, the way that we chose them, we looked at popular guys, we looked at local guys, it's not so well known. And um, I think from the feedback we've received, people are very excited to, to see all of them. Mm -hmm. And the food stores that are going to be there, how did you um, curate that process to make sure that you cater, you know, for the different palettes? Sure. We've got amazing local makers making food. So we, we've got, literally got something um, of everything. We've got something fresh. They would do chicken. We've got uh, dim sum. We've got uh, Sri Lankan food. So, yeah, there's literally something for everyone, for every mm. taste bud. What, what kind of setup and what are you hoping that your, you know, the people that are attending, what kind of setup are you expecting that they, you know, they get when they get, when they, to cater uh, for them? What do you expect them to get? So we've got, um, we've got quite a lot of things going on there. Mm. We've got kids entertainment. We, obviously, we've got the live entertainment. We've got the food. So I think when people get there, they, it's, they, they'll just be experiencing quite a lot. Mm. We've got um, stilt walkers. We've got mimes. We've got a dance group. So it's, it's literally going to be an experience, and they can literally come and relax and just have a great time. The fashion. Talk to us about that. Okay, so the fashion, yeah, that's that's one of the things I'm very um, passionate about. Our local makers, they have incredible, I mean, they're so talented. Um, we've got accessories, fashion items, um, handbags, yeah, all locally made. And it's something that I think every South African should have in their cupboards. Mm -hmm. What stands out? What makes Moho stand out from all the other markets that already exist? So I think it's not just an ordinary market. If you look at the entertainment, if you look at the, I mean, it's, an, it's a complete experience. So I think that um, already puts us apart. Um, and then, yeah, I encourage people to come and have a look for themselves what, what makes us different. Yeah. And why does this concept of bringing all these different elements work? You know, it's one thing, the markets that we traditionally know of, it's a market you go and buy earrings, you know, and it's then there's the food stores. But putting it together almost sort of works. What, why do you think that concept works? I think it's important to cater for the entire family. Look, you know, the, the dad and, and the grand, grandpa and the uncles, we want them to also stay longer. So if we can get them to stay longer, <laughs> I think we can shop. Um, oh yeah, but I think everything together, um, supporting our entrepreneurs and, and having something for everyone is important. Mm. Um, it's an experience. So that when we can get people to stay longer and have a great time, they will support our local makers. And yeah, I think that's, that's important. And the local makers, how did you get them to be part of the process? Did they apply? How did it work? Yeah, so we do, we do go through an application process. Mm -hmm. um, we, we put out obviously all our marketing and they apply on our website, um, mohoblock.co.za. And then we curate and, and that's pretty much how our process works. What were you looking out for when you were curating this for the entrepreneurs? 
We want local makers that obviously they, the goods are high quality, um, their stand looks good, they've got all the, the uh, documentation in order, um, and, and unique things, you know, things that people um, are not used to, mm -hmm. um, and presented in unique ways. Mm -hmm. And the process, the food as well, you talk about how you cater for the different palates and mm. the different, you know, why was that such an important aspect of the festival as well, so that you don't leave anybody out? Yeah, I think it's people, they love to eat and drink, so, you know, we have to cater for that and um, having something like all the different cuisines it's it's important so that everyone can have something to eat the kids the mom the, the auntie you know mm -hmm. the uncles everyone must have something you know that they would want, want to eat yeah ticket prices how do people get a hold of tickets talk to us about that okay so ticket prices are 50 rand for adults kids under 12 enter free you can get your tickets at quicket.co.za um, and if you can't find that, you can go to our website, Moho Block, and just remember it's two M's, M M O H O, Moho Block. Zira So it's the same thing on the on the two days. How does it? How's the two days? Going yeah, it's to work? pretty much the same. Our mm. lineup differs, um, so it's not all the same bands on Saturday than Sunday. So that's the only thing that really differs. The, the lineup. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that as well. So the soil will be forming on Sunday. Um, and the legacy they will be forming on Saturday. Um, that's the difference between the two days. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the upcoming artists. Why was it important that you create a platform for them as well? Yeah, I think you know they've really been struggling the last two years. So it's important for us to create these pla platforms and get our uh, arts and entertainment to get it back up again. I mean, it's it's the heart of our nation. Yeah. Music and entrepreneurs. So that's really what this platform is all about. Mm -hmm. All right. Just before I let you go, why is it important? Why should I even go drive all the way to more of Africa <laughs> for this? Tell us a little bit. Um, I think... Yeah, I think it's going to be a, it's really going to be a fabulous day, a fabulous weekend. I think you should come, bring your family. Um, it's going to be lots of kids entertainment. So if you really want to just come and chill and, and experience everything local, you should be there. All right, Stasia, thank you so much thank for you. talking to us. Uh, the Moho Block Market will take place uh, on Saturday. You said quick ticket, eh? Quicket. Quicket is where people get to Yes, quicket.co.za. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. You know what? It's affordable. Thank <laughs> you so much, uh, Stasia Conradi, who is the Moho uh, Block Market Director and Executive Director. It takes place on the 30th of April and then Sunday, the 1st of May, and promises to be a market like you haven't seen before. Uh, we just spoke to Stasia Conradi about that.